Hello, welcome to another video edition on chemistry t tutorials. In this video, we will be continuing with determining the electronic configuration of our given elements. Now, in this case, we are given a neutral indium atom. Okay, so the first step will always start with determining the number of electrons that we need to distribute in our electronic configuration. So we need to look at our periodic table. All right, so we are now looking at our periodic table. So we're looking for element indium, and that is here, right? This is element indium, and that is element number 49. So that tells us that we have 49 electrons that we need to distribute for a neutral indium. But remember, to determine the number of valence electrons, these are the electrons that are actually on the outermost shell and that are doing the bonding part when there is bonding. We look at the group numbers of the major groups, group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So basically, indium belongs to this group. So we are expecting three valence electrons for indium. So we'll see that when we do the distribution of our electrons. So we go to our energy levels. Okay, so remember that the S has the lowest energy, followed by the P, the D, and the F. And you go from 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, and so on and so forth. And on this side, you will see the different levels of the orbitals in the orbital diagram form. So again, every square here or every box can only accommodate two electrons. So the s can have two, p can have six, the d orbital can have 10, and f can have 14. So let's try to distribute the 49 electrons of your indium. Alright, so before we do that, remember we have 49 electrons for the neutral indium atom. We don't need to add any more of the electrons because this is not an ion or we don't need to subtract anything because the indium did not gain any positive charge. Okay, so let's do the distribution. Alright, so we start with the 1s. That's 2 electrons, then 2s. Sorry, that's 2 electrons. Then P, one for each. All right, so that's the Hans rule. You need to fill up the degenerate orbitals first before try to pair them up. So that's another one, another one, and another one. So that's a total of two, four, six, eight, ten. We now have distributed ten electrons out of forty-nine. So we only have thirty-nine more left to distribute. So let me just do that. Okay, I have filled up until 4s. Now, where is the next orbital? As you can see here, we go next to the 3d10. Why we are on the third? Because for the d orbitals, that's n minus 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So that's 3d. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then I simply pair them up and we'll continue with the rest of the filling up of the electrons for your orbitals. Then from 3d10, we go to 4p6. That's this one. Okay, so if you're using this type of orbital diagram, you will easily determine the places where you need to fill up the electrons, okay? If you have need a different guide that you have seen earlier, that's also good. Then go to 5s. Then of course, we go to the next process, then that's 4d and so on. Okay, so let me just complete the whole process. All right, so we now have completed in distributing the 49 electrons of your indium atom. All right, so we have 5s2, 4d10, and we have 5p1. So the, for the rest of the electrons that are paired, it's a total of 48. So we, the next electron will go to the 5p orbital. So that's, you can see here, as a lone electron. All right. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, the valence electrons are usually on the outermost shell. So the outermost shell is the fifth shell. So if you count the number of electrons on the fifth shell, that's two and three. So that corresponds to the number of valence electrons in group 3A for indium having three valence electrons. Now let's check or compare our answers based on the Wikipedia site. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so this is the Wikipedia site. 
Olga indium element. And as you can see, if you move this here, you will find the electronic configuration of your indium here, as shown as krypton 40, 10, 5, 2, 5, P1. Now remember, this is just arranged in terms of increasing uh, the number of shells. That's 4, 5. And remember, if you do the filling up, you always have to remember the least or the lower orbital is always filled up first. Okay. Now, if we try to compare with our answer earlier, we have 1s2, 2s2, p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, and 5p1. Now remember, the core configuration makes use of the configuration of your noble gases, and that is until 4p6. Alright, so this whole thing here, until 4p6, corresponds to your krypton. So the configuration shown on your Wikipedia here is the same with our answer. So that verifies your answer. Now all we need to do now is simply write our final answer. Okay, so I have now written our final answer of the electronic configuration of your indium. That's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, and 5p1. And again, based on our compar comparison with the answer in the Wikipedia, the 1s2 until 4p6 corresponds to your krypton. So the core configuration is krypton, close open bracket, 5s2, 4d10, and 5p1. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening and continue learning.